What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're going to... What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. So every week, me and my beautiful wife here are bringing you guys tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully ignite or take your relationship to a whole new level. And some of these things, you know, affect us personally, which affects our relationships too as well. So this topic really does cover the spectrum. Whether you're in a relationship or not in a relationship, um, this is going to definitely help you out. So this week we're gonna talk about healthy habits. That's right. So there's many and a lot of different healthy habits that you might have or might want to achieve, right? So at that point, you know, you really got to narrow it down what we're going to talk about today. And but this could go for everything else. Now, There's like a hundred healthy habits. You really? Have, right? Yeah. So you're talking about like healthy exercise, yep. like healthy eating habits, healthy yep. sleep patterns, yep. healthy sex life, yep. all these different things, you know, these all these different habits that you may have. And you might have bad habits, too. Right. Everybody has bad habits. Um, just hope they don't outweigh the good habits. You right? don't want really bad habits. Yeah, don't you don't want really to be addicted habits. to drugs or anything like that. Right. Or, you know, you, you can have a lot of bad you know, porn habits or whatever it is. So at that point, you don't want to have these different habits because these things could lead to addiction and so on. Right. So when we talk about healthy habits, we want to talk about how we achieve healthy habits. Do you know how to achieve healthy habits? Um, I just I follow. I follow John's instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Love that answer. <laughs> Kudos and brownie points to my wife. She, she just made me happy, I right? I hate brownies, so. <laughs> A fun fact that Sharice does not like chocolate. I No, I hate chocolate. It's she, repulsive. I don't know how any of you guys eat it. It's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> more for me. Yeah. When I first met her, that was definitely one of the, one of the talking points. Like, you don't like chocolate? She's like, no one like chocolate. I'm like, oh, is it because you know you don't want to get fat because you eat a lot of chocolate? Or she's like, no, 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 I just don't like he chocolate. Literally I don't like the smell like of it. I'm like telling taste you, he'll it. eat. Like, he has, one of his favorite things is Godiva, and like he'll Was. eat chocolate. He, I mean, you know, now that they're not around, you know, yeah. he's not the biggest fan of it being shipped in a box that you can buy at the store. Unbelievable. You to be able to buy it, like behind the counter. But anyways, even with him eating a piece of chocolate cake or a brownie or something, I'm like, did you just eat chocolate? And he's like. Yeah, I'm like, okay. It I'll smells so bad. I'm going to be, be sitting in bed or whatever. I might grab a chocolate uh, chip cookie or whatever. So, like, uh, smelling, like, look at me in, like, this uh, disgust face. Like, like, what are you, what, are you serious? Like, what's the matter I'm, like, here? dead serious. It's repulsive. I want to throw up. And, and, like, everybody told, like, they pretty, everybody pretty much likes the chocolate. They right? all think I'm weird. It's you funny. know, Sharice was the first person I ever met that did not like chocolate. And uh, I've met one or two since then. But I'm telling you, like, where are these people at? Because I've never met them ever in my One life until now. One of them is my brother, right? And she brainwashed him, so. What? Um, but anyway, creating healthy habits. Let's get back to this. Hey, so, healthy uh, habit. Don't uh, eat chocolate. Well, they say chocolate could be good, like, if you're depressed and stuff like that. And it can be, you know, ways different things like that. Okay, so chocolate right. is not a bad thing. Dark chocolate especially. And, and good quality chocolate. Because there's, there's good chocolate. There's, you know. And there's bad chocolate. So I know you're saying chocolate's all bad. So mm. it is what it is as sugar it is what it is. But Disgusting. let's go back to healthy habits yeah. and real healthy habits and creating healthy habits because that's what we're here for. <laughs> so <laughs> to create healthy habits, one first thing you got to do is you plan and you identify the negative bad habit, whatever it is, right? Whether it's your eating habits, you know, eating a whole bunch of junk food, whatever it is, smoking, whatever it may be, whatever your negative habit is. So identify it, plan of attack is next. What are you gonna do to get out of that negative habit? Do you know? I mean, and what comes to me just uh, like recently, cause you know, John likes to preach to me about these things. That's why I say just follow John. I don't always- Sunday listen. sermon. I don't always listen, okay? But you know, I hear what he's saying. Anyways. You know, one of my bad habits is eating fast food. He's trying to get, you know, 
Peter, our little baby, he's trying to get Peter to stop eating fast food as well, right? So which sucks because like I'm an adult, so obviously he's a child, I'm an adult. He can't do what he wants. I can do what I want. So, you know, Sunday rolls around and I'm like, it's Sunday, I'm gonna veg out, get whatever I want, right? And John, John's been really good about this too, because I used to just order him stuff, and then of course it would show up, Burger King. And I'm like, there's a Whopper here, double Whopper, don't you want it? And you know, usually he'd be like, yeah, fine, whatever. He's been really good about it lately, and been like, no, 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 no I'm good, I'm good, I'll just eat a steak or whatever it is. Me, on the other hand, you know, I'm over here like devil, and um, you know, I'm like, no, 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 no. Miss Temptation. <laughs> of course, ding dong, yeah. you know, Uber Eats shows up, and like they're on a bag of Burger King, and of course, this one over here automatically assumed, and I did good this time, guys. I did real good. So at this time, he, he assumed that I already ordered Peter some Burger King, because I usually do, right? Because I feel bad. I'm like eating fast food in front of the kid. The kid's like, nom, nom, nom. And I'm over here like, nom, nom, nom. And I'm like, <laughs> so, <laughs> this time I didn't do that for Peter. So Burger King shows up, right? This is the true story, like literally just this past weekend. Love the true stories. But, you know, it shows up, and I'm like, you know, grab it. And he's like, Dad knew you got me Burger King. And I was like, uh, actually, there's only one burger in there. <laughs> I'm like, and it's mine. <laughs> and he's like, what? You didn't get me any Burger King? And I'm like, no, I told you Dad didn't want you having any. He legit thought I was kidding. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't kidding. <laughs> That's even better. I, felt, I love that. I felt so bad because I literally thought I was going to get it before they got back from baseball. That did not happen. Just showed up like right after they walked in the door. I'm like, oh no, this is terrible. <laughs> I'm like, I guess I can share a half a burger because I'm eating this burger, okay? So anyways, I was like, I was like, dad's going to be mad. That's why I didn't order it. I was like, if he approves it, I'll order you one when I go upstairs and it'll come in like an hour. So I walk upstairs and I'm like, hey, I'm like, you know, and he's... He, this one over here tells me, he's like, well, he's like, Peter can't have any of that. And I'm like, okay, well, that's fine. I'm just going to eat mine. And he's like, you know, you should really start, here it goes. You should start creating some good habits too, you know, you know, set the example. And I'm like, okay. I'm that's like, right. I'm going to set the example tomorrow. <laughs> that's where mistakes will come if you follow her path. <laughs> Oh, hey, at least I'm not sitting here. Lo I could lie to you true, and be true. like, "Oh my God!" So I eat a salad every day, and then I eat this grilled chicken, and then that's all I eat, and just I'm so healthy. I want to be better. Healthy habits are very important, especially if you're, you know, type two diabetic. You have hypertensive issues. You have high cholesterol. These are all really important things, and honestly, it's taking over as like a pandemic over the whole United States of America. Yeah. Everybody's overweight, Whoa. they're obese, they're eating whatever they want, and then they go to the doctor, doctor gives them some sort of statin, some sort of drug, something to lower their blood pressure, you know, and this is ultimately affecting your health. So, yes, John, he gets he gets one tally for today for being right on having healthy habits. This is a just a right, this, is, this story I'm telling you is just a real life story yeah. that recently took place. And let me tell you, those onion rings were really good. So, once you identify the problem and you're playing the attack on the problem, identify. the next thing you want to do is change the environment, right? So, in any environment, you want to change. Whether you're hanging around people that are doing drugs, you get away from those people. People are drinking alcohol, you stay away from them, right? And same thing with food. If you go into your kitchen, your pantry, and you have all this garbage there, it's there. It's going to put you in the temptation and put you in a more vulnerable position to want to eat those negative foods. They're going to affect you that in a bad way. It's so true, too. It's so true. Yeah. So true. So, I mean, these are just some of the ways you can get away from it. The next thing you have to do is, is if you need to ask for help, ask for help. You know, whether you're going through whatever it is, whether it's the food thing or the drug thing or alcohol thing, or whatever that bad habit is, and it doesn't have to be a negative bad habit per se. It's just something that you know is a bad habit and you should probably change, whether it's biting your nails. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I mean, there's a lot of different things out there. So People have some, definitely have some bad, bad habits. Ask for help, right? And then do it continuously and be consistent about it. Hold yourself accountable for it. Um, and this is just some quick things you can do to break bad habits. Now they say that habits form after usually 18 to 21 days right and then it turns to like automatic and that's usually 66 days to 254 days is what the study said so wow. it's it's really crazy so if you can continuously do this over and over and over it will become automatic in a positive way or if you do negative things in a 
negative way. So make sure you're staying on the positive train and moving forward and pushing through. I'll be eating my grilled chicken tonight, don't worry. So guys, I hope you enjoyed <laughs> this Sunday of Cupid's Corner. I appreciate you guys all tuning in, so does she. Thank and uh, we'll be here every week for you guys. Make sure you guys, if you guys didn't watch it live, DVR it, right? Every Sunday, ABC, 11 a.m. Or just check us out on YouTube. Type Medical Center, type it in, press the subscribe button, hit the all notification bell. If you guys want to know about more of our therapies here at Type Medical Center, check out our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Yeah, all the talks. <laughs> so we'll see you guys next week on another Cupid's Corner. See you then.